And what's up guys, CJ here for Kung Fu Night. We are here for more Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 3, Episode 6. This one is called The Special Section. Last time we had the terrorist attack. Larry told many things about many people and would-be situations that he should not have. Uh, Wanda was in last episode. Um, leave your comments down below. Like the description for Patreon tiers. I'm not going to waste too much time. Let me get right into it. I didn't think I was going to find out. The fuck? <laughs> you guys are fucking stupid. I have a gambling problem. You have a gambling problem? Shut the fuck up. There's mobster vibes. I'm getting Italian mob. Is he dreaming? Hey, you want the money? Is that what you want? You want money, you fucking idiots? I'm watching The Sopranos, man. I thought he was dreaming, actually. I didn't think he, he's on a set. This guy. He does the movies that are... There's so many mobster movies that I haven't seen. I haven't seen The Godfather. Only recently started watching The Sopranos. I haven't seen Goodfellas. Is The Irishman in that, along that vein, too? I haven't seen it, but I think I, in my head I have it in that stratosphere of film. He, he's either uh, Martin Scorsese or Al Pacino. I don't know who. One's an actor and one makes the movies. I don't know. I don't know which he is. I think you know what? This money. isn't. This isn't enough. I need, I need more money. I think you need Not enough money. I don't have enough money. Yeah, no, it's, oh, give, give no, I, thanks. When I when I'd like to get into more quickly is the threat of the violence. Let me take out Gino's balls in a plastic bag. Take it out of my pocket. Hold up his balls. Yeah, but it's like a little graphic for this because I'd rather... I, that's a big thing to do. This is later. This is, you. Do you know what you're doing? Does he know what he's doing? Isn't he supposed to be like one of the best by Hollywood standards and critics and all that? Best directors, best creators of these movies? A little... Yeah, don't talk to me until like I that? finish. Yeah, that kind of thing. You know. like that no, kind no of that's, too, that's too hard. Huh? That's too hard. That's, How many that's too hard? Do? Two more. Two more. Two more. You shoot too much, Marty. No, 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 it's getting better. Marty. <laughs> Marty, 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 Marty. Okay, so it is Martin Scorsese. Two more takes, one right after the other. Okay. Same slate, same slate. We get the energy better in the second take right, that way. Right. You know, Seinfeld, we did two takes and we were done. No, you were going well. You were doing really good. I'm not going to break it up. All right. What was he saying? What was Martin Scorsese saying to you? Keep doing what you're doing? Martin Scorsese. It's a little way of talking to me where it's, it's subtle, but... He doesn't like it? I don't know. It's hard it's, to he looks so weird with hair. It's just so distracting. My mother's sick. You should really call me back. I don't get it. I know. It's just hard to um, take anything seriously. <laughs> you just look crazy. I, I don't know if we're going to make this plain. All right, Marty. Yeah. Let's go on. We're ready? Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go, Joe. Let's get ready, please. Right. Here we go. Come on. We should have made a, I think we should have made a Honey. How would Brian Cranston do in one of those mobster movies? You know, like Ita Italian mob specifically. I think he'd do pretty well, based on how he did in Breaking Bad. I, I think I want to stop by my father's on the way back. And I'll just, I'll have the cab stop and, and uh, drop me off and you could take it back home. Oh, oh, and, um, oh, oh yeah. How, how you, are you, bicycle? Good, how you doing? All right, doing fine. How, how come uh, I called you a couple of times? You never got back to me. Ah, I was busy. You know, I got busy. You so, got busy? Uh, well, yeah. You got bu sure that this is the most normal interaction Larry has ever had with anybody in this show. I, he just looks so comfortable around his family. Let's see how the discomfort will begin. Busy. How's, how's mom doing? Oh, well, you know how people do. So, uh... Tell me about New York. Did you have a good time in New York? Um... I mean, it was busy. Let's, let's uh, you seem very jumpy. What's the matter with you? Well, you know, uh, I didn't expect you to come in today. I really didn't know you were here. We brought her back. You know, your mother, was, she got sicker, and we had to bring her back to the hospital. Uh-oh. in the hospital? Yeah, well, not now. But uh, she's not in the hospital now. So that's, that's over. She's not in the hospital she's now. Where is she? Well, in a way. She did warn me. She said, if anything happens to me, don't, don't, don't bother. Don't bother. Oh, me. shit. Does she die? So then, after a day or two, nobody goes on forever and ever and ever. She died? Uh, yeah. Dead, dead. She dead. And she 
didn't want me to bother you. What does that mean? Well, you were in New York, you were having a good time, so we didn't, uh, we didn't call. You see, the funeral was on Monday. The, the funeral happened? Funeral? Saturday. Yeah, funeral. <laughs> oh, I wasn't, I... I'm not at the funeral. Oh, what do you God. mean? Monday was the funeral. Well, Monday was the funeral. What? Well, I you didn't call me? So we didn't call you. You didn't call me to tell me my mother the died? The last words she said to me, if anything happens to me, you don't bother Larry. You don't spoil his trip in New York. Didn't say. Bless her heart. Who's that, Larry? My condolences. Your cousin. I'm sorry. You missed a good one. This was really a nice, oh. nice... Well, I'm sorry I missed it. Perhaps had I been informed... I may have been able to attend oh. my mother's <laughs> funeral. It was beautiful. Let me show you who was there at this yeah, funeral. Please. Everybody oh, was God. there. My goodness. You know, Everybody you know, was Uncle there. Harold was there. He told his joke, you know, his famous joke that he always tells. Yeah, yeah, about the temple, I know. And Abe yeah. Lincoln. Yeah, Abe Lincoln, he was... Oh. Beautiful service. Sorry about your loss. Where's Larry? Assassin's a little smile on his face. Send their condolences. Oh, who else called? We don't have to. Who, no, who, who called? Uh, Michael Adler called, and he wants to have lunch with you. I haven't spoken to this guy in, in about five years. All of it, what does he want to have lunch with me for? I don't know. The uh, Mandels want to confirm dinner on Saturday. Okay. No, that's not happening. She your secretary, bro? <clears throat> Hi. Mary. Hi. Uh, it's Cheryl David. Um, we're not going to be able to do dinner on Saturday. Larry's mother just passed away. And, um, we're just going to take some time with that. Is it not like that? She said she's very sorry to hear about your mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she completely understood. Huh. No, Larry. He's going to be like, this is my perfect excuse to do nothing. Michael. Hi. It's Larry David. Hey, I'll bet Julie's pretty excited about that bat mitzvah, huh? Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to make it. Look at how happy well, he is. Larry, how, how did you ever land this uh, this role in this in this film? It's like unbelievable to me. He saw me at the uh, at the improv, screaming at the audience one night in New York. You mean ages ago? Yeah. Ages ago. And he remembered this? He remembered that because, I, uh, you know, I was oh, having it bitch. out with this guy in the audience. And he thought, like, I could play this tough Jew. I don't know. Maybe I should hang out by his house and scream and yell. No, that's great. Speaking of screaming and yelling, you know, I'm trying to calm down a little bit. So I decided, don't mock. I'm going to start this. Uh, I've never done it before, to meditate. Yeah, I used to do it. What do you do, actually? You get that guy, I had a mantra, you know. Yeah. And uh, you just, you repeat this mantra you in your head. It? Yeah, you say it over and over again. Where, yeah. where do you get these mantras? Yeah. I got it from a yoga instructor. Really? Yeah, you want a mantra? I'll give you a mantra. Lonely. Lonely. <laughs> what? Lonely. Lonely. Yeah, just keep repeating that, it. That would work? Well, what, what is your mantra? Uh, Jai. That's it? Jai Ya. Jai Ya. What does it mean? Oh shit! What? Oh, this guy hits Wendell. He spotted me. Oh, he's gonna want to do. Fuck is Wendell? Chat. Don't, don't go. Not the oh, stopping chat. Yeah, we uh, we're close shopping. I had to get out of there. You know, little little Dilly, the princess. She's all she's holding up two two things, which makes me look more grown up, Daddy. Okay. You know, uh, uh, my mother just died. I'm so sorry. Uh, I kind of need to be alone with my own thoughts. You just use this to get out of a conversation? <laughs> Gotta find the grave, a tombstone. Excuse me. Yeah? Um, I'm looking for my mother's grave, Adele David. Yeah, she got moved. Special section. Special section? What special section? You better talk to the general manager. My mother was moved to a, a special section? Yes, uh, evidently you were out of town. Uh, we have a section reserved for people who, well, who just don't qualify for the internment in consecrated ground. Uh, it's, it's a place where we put the, uh, the villains, the suicides. The Whoa! Gentiles who are from mixed marriages. Okay, horrendous mistake, okay? Let me explain, please. When the Shamish examined her, he found that she had a... Uh, Tattoo uh, on the uh, here on the right cheek of her right buttock. Uh huh. <laughs> okay.
Okay. So, so what if she did have a tattoo? So what? According to Leviticus, you shall not make any gashes in your flesh for the dead, nor incise yourself. Look, I wasn't here. I should have been here. I well, wasn't called. My father, you, for you, some... Your dad but she has the tattoo, and she wouldn't have been able to... But still would have happened, like to, it sounds like. I'd like to rectify this. I'd like to get her where she's supposed to be, where we paid for her plot. Now, if there was some youthful indiscretion and she got this tattoo, which I still can't even hardly believe my ears when you even tell me this. <laughs> so what? There's nothing I can do, sir. The law is the law. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What can I do? Well, what are we going to do about this special section thing? She can't. We can't keep her there. This is ridiculous. When did you get this tattoo? Oh, the tattoo. We were uh, just married. We walked down the boardwalk over there. She saw a tattoo parlor. She said, hey, let's do it. <laughs> Your parents had I tattoos. Rose. Hey. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Well, nice tree. So what's for dinner? Turkey. Ah. No, I had turkey for lunch. Oh, well. It's all right. It's OK. I'm going to go check on that turkey. Bad call, huh? Turkey for lunch. Well, who knew? I didn't know. Yeah, you doubled up. What am I going to do? Order Chinese food in L.A.? Why? Can't order Chinese food in L.A.? There's no good Chinese food in L.A. Right, because all the good Chinese cooks went to New York. <laughs> you know what? Come here. Come here. Rejected dinner in someone's home. Oh God! You're gonna desecrate her. I'm gonna try and pay off the. And he's is the father's on board. Yeah. Okay. It does not sound like I, a good idea. It's. I think it sounds fantastic. It's not dangerous because I don't have to do anything but pay off the grave digger, that's, and that's all I have to do. Jai ya, jai ya, jai ya. I'm uh, meditating. Oh my God! You're no, kidding. I mean, I, you know, I'm just getting into this, and it's, uh, it's starting to work. I just didn't. I forgot to turn the phone off. I'm just so pissed oh, off. Um, I was calling about the mantra. What about the mantra? It's a good, by the way. It, uh, uh, it's I working. Maybe I could get it back. What are you doing, bro? Back. What are you doing? Yeah, you you oh, gave it to me. But I, I, I changed my mind. I like <laughs> you can't be a, an East Indian giver. Why are? are these two children on a playground fighting over a word. You know, I, I really well. It's not fair. What about splitting it with? <laughs> splitting it. What with are you like talking a... about? It's just that you know, my my mother just died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah. Oh, fabulous! Yeah, yeah. You can get whatever you want, and you drop that. Yeah. My mother just died. <laughs> It's just that I, I've been going through a rough time. <laughs> hey! Oh, God. Remember me? God damn! All right. you better bring some friends to help. Help what? Dig. Over here! What? Hey! Oh. Hey! Hey! Welcome to the special section. Oh special my God. section. There you go, gentlemen. Enjoy your work. Thank you. Hey, what about you? I only got four shovels. Shaya. 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 No. Happy? I don't know what you're talking about. The mantra that you so nicely lent to me that I said maybe 400,000 times. Jaya? What, what? I found out what it meant from some chick who does this meditation stuff. What does it mean? Well, you can take Jaya 
and take that mantra and shove it up your ass. What does it mean? Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> me. Sometimes I like to pretend that I'm that I'm deaf, and I try to imagine what it would be like right. not to be able to hear them. Mm -hmm. hmm. You expecting somebody? No. Huh. Looking for a Larry David man? Can you help Shit. Me? Oh, right. Is he here, ma'am? Hey, hey, that's him. That's the guy. The fuck? Ratted him out? David, we're going to need you to come with us, sir. Evidently, you've been passing some bad bills around town, sir. Can you help us out with that? What? Counterfeit bills, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Counterfeit oh. bills? Can you oh. Put your hands down, sir. Okay. All right. Okay, I know what happened here. I was in this movie, and they gave me the, this money, this counterfeit oh, money. Oh, shit. Relax you know, your arms, sir. What? You can't be serious. Stay calm. I'll give you the money. I'll give you real money. No, how do you find out where he lived? And how do you get his full... I guess he had the registry for his mom. <laughs> and work here. Jaya. All right. Fun episode. I like the new characters that we added here. Pretty sure this is the first time we've seen Larry's dad. Um, we have a cousin also. The the back and forth with all of them, I do like their chemistry, so I do think that they're going to be around regularly going forward. Of course, Jeff went to the um, desecration um, event. I know he just showed up, but maybe one or two questions, or maybe no questions asked. Um... Just like, all right, Larry, let's do this. All right, you you're dig your mom up. All right, cool. I literally thought that they were there because of the desecration, as opposed to the the bills. But Larry wanted more money, right? I didn't even think about that when he whipped out that uh, stack of uh, hundreds. On episode, I'm gonna leave my thoughts just as that. Leave your comments down below. Link is in the description for Patreon tiers. I'll catch you next time. Peace.